welcome to Nick's YouTube channel. Um, my name is Jill Noel and I will be reviewing for you today the Mercedes-Benz E Sprinter 100% electric van. I'll be looking at what I consider to be the good, the great and the surprising things about this electric van and also hoping to show how it's really suitable for many van driver needs of today. Let's have a look around the cabin space. As you'd expect with any van, it is spacious. So there are two passenger seats next to me. Um, there is air conditioning in this uh, Mercedes-Benz E Sprinter van. So we have cup holders in the front, plenty of cup holders there for your cups of coffee to keep you going. Um, here's the dashboard. You'll see that if I turn the van on, everything really comes to life. It tells me that I have 94 miles range, so that's just been fully charged at my home overnight. It's relatively basic, but I think that's what you would expect from any van. Um, so an electric van is no different. Um, but it has everything that you need to keep you going, I think. Um, what I was mildly surprised about, but maybe I shouldn't have been surprised about, is that I won't be able to take my children out anywhere in this van for the time that I have it. There's no ISO fix fittings, but it's an electric van. It's not a family car. So uh, really, that uh, that shouldn't be a problem at all. The more I have driven it, actually, the more comfortable it becomes. So the seats are really quite supportive. I could imagine being in here for quite some time. Um, so yeah, first impressions are good. And the more I've driven it, those impressions have improved, I would say, over time. The interior is, again, um, relatively basic, but I think it's what you would expect from a very functional uh, van. The really nice thing is about the e-sprinter is that it does have um, air conditioning and actually having the air conditioning on whilst you are driving has very little impact on the range so on the the, the battery um, it reduces it by only about two or three miles which is pretty good um, it also has, I believe, um, heated seats, which is a bit of a luxury, I have to say. I'm about to start my 28 mile drive over to the Omi Warehouse, uh, just over the border into North Wales near Rill, where I'm going to fill up with um, a van load of electric vehicle charges and do a test just to see what the impact is of um, a pretty uh, heavy load on this vehicle's range. I've arrived at the Omi warehouse 28 miles later and quite surprisingly actually um, I've used up just 30 miles of range so that's driving in a mix of urban um, but mostly actually uh, along the A55, so quite hilly. Um, I tried to make the most of the regenerative braking to optimise uh, the range on the E Sprinter, and it seems to have worked. So pretty good verdict on range um, in that I have driven 28 miles and it's only used 30 miles of range. So pretty impressive. And we'll do uh, that test on range with a load. So here we are at Omi and they are very very kindly going to um, put a load of electric vehicle chargers in the back of the e-sprinter van. The payload of the uh, e-sprinter electric van is 731 kilograms. We reckon that including myself as driver and a passenger then it's going to come to pretty much 730 kilograms. So um, we're ready to do a bit of a, a test on the range with the full load. I'm in the, uh, the Mercedes-Benz E Sprinter van through rural North Wales with a really quite full load in the back. Driving over here, I, I was really able to optimize the range by using um, some of the regen. Um, however, now it's got a full load, I can really feel obviously um, that there's uh, there's more of a draw um, on the on the back 
battery. So I'm just going uphill now, and um, and I know that range will be will be depleting a little bit more than uh, you know if the if the van was empty. Um, but that's okay. That's to be expected. Uh, I'm seeing some beautiful views here uh, that you probably can't see. But um, yeah, it's. I've been impressed with the range so far. 11 miles driving with um, pretty much a full load and um, and it's only taken four miles worth of range, which is interesting. However, a lot of that um, journey was stop, start and downhill. So we're going to head back now, um, same distance and uh, probably obviously a little bit more uphill and we'll see uh, where we end up in terms of uh, miles used. Done our test on uh, range to see what a, a full load, what impact that has on the range. And maybe surprisingly, um, it's had no discernible impact at all. So we did 23 miles, um, a bit up and downy in the, through rural North Wales. And um, yeah, we used 23 miles worth of range. So I think the conclusion that you can probably draw from that is because the e-sprinter van is really quite heavy anyway, then if you add what is a relatively small amount of weight, so 730 kilograms, it's not going to have much, if any, effect. So let's talk about some e-sprinter statistics. The length of the e-sprinter is 5932 millimetres. The height is 2687 millimetres. The width is two, three, four, five millimetres. Cargo volume is 11 metre cubed. The gross vehicle weight is three and a half thousand kilograms. The curb weight is 2,769 kilograms. The payload is 731 kilograms. Battery capacity is 55 kilowatts an hour with a usable um, capacity of 47 kilowatts an hour. I've been able to charge the Sprinter van at home overnight using my home smart charger that charges at seven kilowatts. Um, so that's been an e a really easy way for me to charge at home. I've also charged when I'm out and about. So I used one of the Osprey chargers um, just off the A55 in North Wales. And that um, put on about 80% of range in about say 35 minutes, which was just enough time for me to pop over the road and uh, grab a sandwich and have a drink. So it was no bother at, at all. Really easy to charge um, using a, a public um, EV charger. The only downside I would say that I foresee is that when the parking space for the charger is not long enough. So let's round off this review then with the good about the Sprinter van the great about the e-sprinter 100% electric van and then the surprising thing that i found with the e-sprinter van the good it is maybe as you'd expect for an electric vehicle a really pleasant drive experience it's very quiet you can hear a whirring noise uh, when you're driving but it is far far quieter than the equivalent um, diesel or even petrol van so that's a good thing. The great thing about the e-sprinter van is the range. Um, so in the driving that I've done, which has been a mix of urban and then uh, on rural roads and dual carriageway, I've found that in the round trips that I've done of about 30 miles each, then the range has dropped by 30 miles which leads me to believe for my style of driving, then the range is pretty accurate. So I'd anticipate that with it being charged at 100% with a range of 96 miles, I anticipate that I'd pretty much achieve 
that. So what's the surprising thing about the e-sprinter van? Well, this is the test that I did filling the, the van with pretty much a full load. So, so we filled it with, uh, with boxes of very appropriately smart chargers, courtesy of Omi. And we, so we had a 730 kilogram uh, payload, which is the maximum payload of this e-sprinter van. The test on range showed that actually the load has very little, in fact, neg negligible impact on range, which I found really, really surprising. However, sitting back, thinking about it, it's, it's a really heavy vehicle. So perhaps the addition of 730 kilograms or so, maybe it's not so surprising that it doesn't have that much effect on the range. But yeah, it did surprise me, but I think it's a really positive um, finding for me. So well done, Mercedes-Benz. Thanks so much for watching my review of the Mercedes-Benz e-Sprinter 100% electric van. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out EVA England. Please do follow me on Twitter and watch out for Nick's other guest videos.